Hey guys. So yeah. Um that was my time in the hospital. Um I made that video just a while ago. If you didn't see it guys, just go to my channel and it'll be right there. But anyway, that was pretty much it for my 10th grade year, pretty much. Um, after that, I really had a very negative um, relationship with my parents. I hated them. I hated them so much. And, you know, it's just kind of got ruined from there um but I was seeing my therapist all the time my um I was seeing the school um, social worker now and the school psychologist <clears throat> I was seeing them once a week um I didn't really like the school psychologist because he never really gave me the attention that I needed, per se. Like, I understand it's not his fault, but, like, when we were supposed to have sessions, if his phone rang, he answered. And, I mean, I get it because, you know, if you have a crisis, if something happens, you have to do that. If his phone rang, he answered. If um someone knocked on the door, he opened it. Like, it wasn't just, oh, it's me, and this is your hour, this is your 45 minutes, and... You know, let me give you my all attention and not get interrupted. Like, little things that I was telling him. Like, I felt like I never got far with it because, like, if I was about to open up, someone would be knocking or a phone would ring. And it would take, like, five minutes or ten minutes or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, this is a waste of my time. Like, and it would be like, oh, what was I saying? And I'd be like, oh, nothing. You know, like that. So... That's what happened afterwards, and I had to see the school psychologist and the school therapist um, for that year, for the rest of that year, and I think um, the rest of 11th grade, um, and I think all of 11th, 11th grade, I had to see them, but I ended up stopping because, again, like, I didn't get that attention, so I was just like, this is a waste of my time, I'm fine, I'm whatever, and I remember in my head just saying, oh, just suck it up, Vanessa. Just just suck it up. You tried hospitalization. You tried talking it out. It doesn't work. Um, I also went to a therapist outside of my school. Um, and I I don't know. I, I felt like I just said things that I guess I... Th I said them in my head for so long that I thought maybe they were real. But I, I I said things to my therapist, like I lied to my therapist as a kid. And I'm like, oh, maybe if I say this, maybe they'll, it will be a different. What I think it is, is that if I said something that was a little more drastic, maybe they would understand my cry for help. And... I know that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to tell them things and that's a, the truth and they'll figure it out. But I was telling the truth and trying like trying to do the system the right way, I guess. And it never really worked because my parents still thought I was a joke. They still thought I was having a hissy fit. And I literally did want to kill myself. I literally wanted to um, end my life. I literally was depressed but it just wasn't, I felt like it just wasn't enough. And I had to make these outrageous stories of things that traumatically happened to me that they would understand that there is something wrong and let's look more into it and maybe we'll find it. Maybe it's not that I'm thinking, like, maybe it's not you know, like they will be like, oh, maybe it's not this or that, but there is something wrong, you know, and um, that didn't really happen. And so I stopped seeing my 
um, therapist, um, and my school psychologist and my school social worker. And I remember literally to the point at like the end of this, like I took all of my fucking medication. I literally took all of it. I was cutting myself and I took every single pill that I had for my medication, um, for my mental health that they gave to me outside of the doctors, outside of the hospital to take it, you know, every day. And I remember telling that to my therapist and they're like, well, what did you do? And I said, well, I just threw it up. I didn't even, it didn't even work. I tried to kill myself by overdosing on pills and my body just threw it up. And I remember feeling so pissed off and so discouraged of, I guess like suicide Like, I felt like a failure. Like, I couldn't even kill myself properly. And I know that's cliche. I know a lot of people say that. Like, oh, my God. I can't even kill myself right or whatever. I feel like a shit person. But literally, I took all my pills. And I had, like, three bottles, brand new bottles of pills. And I took all of it. And I remember throwing that shit up. It was the worst feeling ever. And I never wanted to feel like that ever again. But I literally tried, I swallowed all my pills and tried to lay down and I couldn't keep it down. And I remember the color of my vomit. It was like a blue gray. It was so bad and bitter and disgusted. And I'm just like, wow, like I'm still here. (laughs) And I think that was the last, I think that was the last time that I really saw Susan. Um, That was my therapist, sorry. Um, But I think it was the last time I saw her. I, cause I, um, it was when I told her. That, you know, um, I took all my pills and I threw it up. She was like, oh, what happened? And I'm like, I threw it up. And she's like, oh, you didn't go to that. You didn't call it a doctor. I was like, no. After I threw it up, I felt fine. And I just cried myself to sleep pretty much. Um, but... After that, I was like, really and truly, I was just like, let me just suck it up. Like, nothing's working. Nothing is fine. I'm just going to pretend that I'm okay and just go about my day and not tell anyone that, except Susan, who knew, but not tell anyone else that I tried to kill myself again. So I was just like, like that, that session, she was like, oh, do you feel like you want to kill yourself again? I'm like, no, I don't. It's fine. I'm over it. Like, like basically I was just like, I'm over it. I'm done. Like, this is stupid. Like, it's not working. Like, might as well. Like, I probably said some bullshit. Like, oh, that probably showed me that, you know, I'm. I, I I have something to live for. Maybe that's why God saved me or some bullshit like that. And really and truly, I was just like, I'm done. I'm just going to pretend that I'm okay. And I'm going to pretend that I didn't do that and just live my life. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the next video I'm going to do is talk about how I started cutting myself 
because that kind of ties in around this time anyway but yeah stay tuned guys for that video i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys are liking these videos and stuff if you guys are watching and stuff please like comment and subscribe to my channel um and yeah my i'm telling you my life story is hectic bro like i have a lot of shit but anyway um i'll see you in the next one bye